This is Signal Hounds talking RF, and today we're talking about EMC pre-compliance using the BB60C. Using EMC pre-compliance testing in your hardware development process can help you avoid costly and time-consuming redesigns. By combining the BB60C Spectrum Analyzer, an antenna, EMC probes, and our Spike software, you can monitor the electromagnetic interference of your devices during the entire design and build process. Hello and welcome to Talking RF. Sean here with Justin Crooks, Senior Engineer at SignalHound, and today we're talking about EMC pre-compliance and interference hunting using the BB60C. The BB60C is a real-time spectrum analyzer and when equipped with EMC pre-compliance software tools, like Spike, the BB60C can provide a significant edge in pre-compliance testing that can limit costly redesigns and speed up time to market. With broad frequency ranges in use, spectrum monitoring, and when necessary, interference hunting, must be performed on an application by application basis, working across manageable sections of frequency bandwidth that a portable spectrum analyzer and a test antenna can handle. When paired with Spike, the BB60C is a great partner for these applications. The BB60C uh, can be a reliable piece of test and measurement equipment when it comes to EMC pre-compliance. Um, we have a lot of people that purchase it specifically for that. Uh, can you speak to the areas where customers have seen successes uh, with EMC pre-compliance and the BB60C? You know, it has the ability to do the uh, real-time uh, captures. So if, for example, they're monitoring uh, you know, spurs from their clocks or whatnot, you know, you can, you can tune to that and run your device through whatever paces are normally used in operation. And, you know, with the 50% overlapping FFTs, any event uh, will, is guaranteed to be captured and displayed in that frequency range. So uh, if you know the frequency areas that you need to focus on, you can very quickly determine what types of of activities with the device under test generate those spurs and, and address them separately. And if you don't know where the spurs are, we can also sweep very quickly. I think the BB60C is uh, 24 gigahertz per second, which means you know you can cover from low frequencies all the way up through six gigahertz up to four times a second. Um, and so if, if there are repeating spurious emissions, you'll be able to identify where they are you know, fairly quickly. And what are like some companies, what are some use cases where those uh, particular features come into play? Um, yeah, there's, there's a few different places where people would be looking at uh, EMC pre-compliance. There's uh, the intentional transmitters where you need to make sure that your actual transmit power is below the threshold that you're allowed. Um, and then there's the unintentional transmitters, which there you're looking at like the clocks on your microcontroller or your microprocessor. You're looking at uh, the spurs from the power supply. And you know when you set it up the same way that the user is going to be using it or that the uh, EMC compliance lab is going to be, be setting up the, the system uh, for these types of measurements, you can get accurate and repeatable uh, results. Great. Uh, the BB60C is a great tool for interference hunting as well. Uh, can you talk about some use case scenarios specifically for interference hunting with the BB60C? Um, sure, I guess the first one that comes to mind is uh, there was a company that wanted to monitor a specific band that was being used for, I, I guess, some train communications. Um, and it was very important that nobody interfere with these types of communications and also for uh, public safety bands. Um, so the BB60C with a directional antenna um, you know, if you identify that, hey, somewhere in this region, there's a, you know, there's something that's interfering with a public safety band. You know, you can take your BB60C with a directional antenna and uh, just uh, drive around and, uh, you know, for example, there's a lot of those little cheap FM transmitters. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes the harmonics will fall into the public safety bands and those need to be hunted down and turned off as soon as possible you know, for public safety. Um, so yeah, with, with that uh, BB60C and like a log periodic antenna that can cover, you know, several octaves of, of frequency, you can very quickly, um, you know, identify the source of this interference and, you know, take appropriate actions from there. If you have any questions about EMC pre-compliance, interference hunting, 
or the BB60C, leave them in the comments section below. Like, follow, and subscribe for more Signal Hound and RF content.